Looks like the Twinkies are going to get another offensive drive here. But the Convict's going to try to stall and get a... So in the meantime, while our stream was down there, Anthony Powell picked up a long bomb. Yeah, Carter throws it deep, and it was effective. If he was doing that all game, this game wouldn't be close. Here, dangerous pass. Will Gruka. Will Gruka. Oh, oh he almost, almost with intercepted. Another interception. Felt like some form of offensive pass interference. Both ran into each other. The, the Greek freak is clearly confused at what freak Gruka is, is arguing about. Enraged at that. Both players ran into He's each other. I don't see an He's issue. There's definitely lost. no interference there. Will made a tremendous play. He's just lucky he didn't intercept that ball. He's coming off the field. Here's a snap from Cole Grable. Looking to make a short, th deep throw. And that's not caught. That's incomplete. Beautiful defensive work and there. Tyler, Couldn't Mojo bring it down. That is an incomplete catch. Tyler Holman is arguing that he caught it and then, I don't even know because that would have just been, I guess he's That'd saying he was down. That would be a fumble, but it, you're not, you're not going to argue for a fumble if I'm Tyler. He's arguing that he caught it and he was on the ground whenever he caught it, so he just would have been down. Oh, so just been it. down, but yeah. that doesn't seem to be the call in the field. Moj thinks otherwise. Time is running out and this is going to go to a kickoff. Third down Third here for down. the Twinkies. Don't know how much time is left. Still two timeouts left for both teams. Here's the snap. Hands off. You're going to still make a throw. Run for it? That's going to be an interception. Well, well Gruka steps up with another interception for the Convicts. And he and breaks the tackle him. for a pick six. That's a beautiful pick six there from Will Gruka. Unless they call him down. I, how are you going to call him down? There's no... F that is a terrible call. I'm, not I'm really sorry, sure but that is a very there. bad call. That's an interception. That's a pick six, and the Convicts should be up by a touchdown. He didn't... I think he's saying... I think he's saying he touched the flag, but I mean, you got to give it to him. That's a great catch. If the Convicts can't win here, that's going to be very upsetting for them. Because they had this win in the bag. Is this still Twinkie's ball? It appears to be the... You know what they might have been calling? No, it's the Convicts ball, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be the Convicts ball. Let's see if Carter can make another play and win this game for his team very close it's first and goal is completely loaded here with Chris Bowen the only person on the other side Anthony Powell in the end zone ah oh, he's too covered Chris great Bowen. catch Chris Bowen with that's a good perfect pickup. they get the timeout and this is second and goal and they're right there and the convicts still have a timeout left on the cusp of winning three more plays to get this touchdown and the best part about it it's a tie game they don't need to score here they can still go to overtime with that great kicker in Will Gruka Let's see what they do. Don't want to throw an interception here. You got to be smart. He's looking for anyone. Oh. Oh. He couldn't catch it. Carter could have made a play there. Doesn't do it. I believe eight seconds on the clock. They're this out of time. Looking like the last play of the game. Definitely going to be the last play of the game here. Let's see if they can make something happen. If not, this does go into overtime, right? This goes into overtime, and that's not something these guys want, I don't think. If you're the Twinkies, you want to pick six here. But if you're the Convicts, you want to put this game away. Will Gruka known for shanking kicks today. Here's the snap. Anthony Powell, Anthony Powell wide open in the end zone. That's a touchdown. The Convicts win. They're going to the finals. That's a crazy upset. And the Convicts win the finals of the losers bracket. They are into the finals of the entire tournament against the Young Boys. Pulling off an insane upset. The six seed Convicts beat the number two seed Twinkies. What a game.
Okay, so since this is a double elimination tournament, the number one seed Young Boys have not lost yet today. So in order for the convicts to win the entire thing, they are going to need to beat the Young Boys twice in the finals. Whereas the Young Boys only need one win to seal the championship. Yeah, and that's going to be really tough, but this convicts team is uh, as hot as anyone right now. And they're finding ways to win, so... This young boy is better be prepared to stay away from Will Gruca. The man is on fire. You got a question. Do the referees not want the convicts to win? It seems like they got something against them with the poor seeding from the very get-go. I mean, being ranked as the second to last team just seems like... Especially with all this athletic talent, I mean... Yeah, they don't have football players, but they have athletes. Very good athletes, and you can see that here today. They're in the finals, and they're looking to put this team away. But the young boys, undefeated and pretty dominant all day. And the young boys, again, employing this unique, it looks to be 7-on-7 seven seven strategy with only... Yeah, the, the snapper is a very interesting decision, but it has worked out so far, and that's a quick pass to Cedric... And he's going to get tackled down. Good tackle. Stressful play there for the convicts. It's a decent tackle there by Chris Wood. And Cedric does pick up about 5, 10 yards on that play, though. Second down them here. In a decent position for second down here. Seems to be some dispute on the field. Not sure about what yet. Do you hear what that's about? No, I'm not really sure what he was talking about. I don't know if they're doing a best of three or if they're doing a... Maybe they're just doing a longer game. It's hard to tell. I think they're doing a... It was either first of three or best of three. It, not really sure what they're saying. I it's definitely going to be a best of three as the school day winds down here. And this and guy has so much team time. Team. And the tackle is good, but they get the first, and there seems to be an injured player on the field. That is Logan West down on the right side of Logan the field. Logan West is down, and that's not good. Not their best defender, but definitely a good player. I mean, oh, and he pops right back up. He's just up all of a sudden. Maybe he's... Look to be potentially Maybe he's out not. of the game, and all of a sudden he looks to be good. He looks perfectly fine. I don't know what that was about. Maybe he got mad his pants were stained. Who knows? But that was a good tackle, and that gives him a first down, but they're right on the first down marker. I mean, they have a long way to go to get a touchdown here. So far, Convicts, not the worst defensive showing we've seen against these young boys, but definitely needs some work. Stop him here. The snapping is such an interesting decision. They're going for the touchdown, but well, look who's there. Comes up with well, Grook is there. He's tackled down, but that's an interception. That's not a touchdown for the young boys. I take well, back what mad. I said earlier. The Greek freak might be a Greek freak. But Will Gruka is, is just a pulling beast. up with interception after interception Will after Gruka interception. Will is not only a good soccer player. He's Clearly. a good football player. Absolutely. Cornerback I mean, for him next year. Definitely defensive player of the tournament, without a doubt now. It's got to be at this point. I mean, I'm sorry, Nico, but that's just the way it is. 
He's had an interception, at least one in each of his games today. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dominant performance. There's a ball on the field. Hopefully they get that off before this ball snapped. Here's the snap. Carter's going to... First down for the convicts. Well, a after quick that throw. Oh, a drop by Logan wins. West. Maybe that injury is getting to his head. It's, there's also taunting. Taunting seems to be a bit excessive here. Apparently we're not flagging that. But I don't know if that should be allowed. Very poor sportsmanship. They would call it flag definitely in the NFL. But this is flag football. It's for fun. Here's the snap. Second down. Short throw to Chris Woden. Look at the jukes from Chris Woden. And he's tackled for a short pickup. About seven yards. Seven yards. That juke destroying the football team. <laughs> Third down here, but not that far to go. And the quarterback is hitting the head with the football. Seems to be some tension building down on the field with taunting and miscommunication for the convicts. Nice slant route. Covered. And Evan Shaw drops the ball for the convicts. We're looking at a fourth and long here for the convicts. They fourth need a long. big play here from one of their star attacking players. Yeah, this is going to be a tough, tough play for them. But hey, you got to have faith in the quarterback. Carter's going to have to throw it long, but he's got to be careful. The young boys do have a massive Deshaun, Wa Deshaun Harmon in the backfield. Great throw Will to Gruka. Will. That's the first. Oh, you can't. That's definitely a first down. If they I call that see. short, that's going to be a scam. Just because you pull the flag back there doesn't mean the ball wasn't passed. There they go. First down. Yep, they mark him. They got to spot him on the first. If that's not a first down, that's a very bad call there from Mudge. The, the spot seems to be very unreliable. I don't think they're going to give him the first, but you saw the ball when the flag was pulled. Oh, that's not a good spot. That's a bad spot. If we could rewind the tape here, we would, but I don't think we can. And that seems like going to be a very big issue for either side, whether the call goes for the, or against the convicts here. I think it's going to go for the convicts. Nate Bosch seems to be happy about something. Mo just saying the ball is over, but I don't think Mr. Price agrees, although Mr. Price looked to be a little bit behind to be making that kind of call. Yeah, Mr. Price, I think they're going to give it to the convicts, but are they going to replay it? I don't know what they're going to do. There seems to be a very big discussion here. Personally, you got to give them the first down if that's my call, but... We'll see. I th they are going to video review. No way. They're pulling up our stream to go into video review on this one. I hope we got it. I don't know if we did. But if I'm I had to... on the work of Cameron Girl, Alexis Hitchens over here. I have to believe he was there before the flag was pulled. It looks like the flag was pulled behind him, which has to mean that that is a first down. Seems like this decision is solely in the hands of Mr. Moj. Mr. Price. Mr. Price seems to... Mr. Price looks like he wants to go home, to be honest. But... <laughs> Mr. Price is cold, and I don't know about this call. What are they going to call it? And they say, what's the call here? I think they're saying. It's really hard to tell from here. I think, they're, they're, I think they're giving it to him. I I'm think not, they're giving it to him, but there appears to be a young boys player. Maybe they're calling a replay. Oh, they're giving it to the young boys here. Unless they're just backing them up. No, I think they're replaying him. 
So they're just going to replay fourth down here, but I don't think that's the original spot. That's where they snapped it, but here we go. Carter got to make a play. Thrown by on the line. Maybe to Anthony Powell. Who's that to? And Will, Will Gruka. Gruka steps up Who again for Will the Gruka. That's a first down for sure. First one was questionable. Second one, he gets probably you an can't extra really 10 or 15 question yards that. on that one. And that puts him in a great position here to score. First and goal for the convicts after a great pickup by Will Gruka. This game is tight. They're moving up a little bit. Original spot was wrong, I guess. All right. The snap. Looking for somebody to get open. He's getting rushed. He's getting rushed, but he breaks loose. And he gains a few yards. I mean, that's going to be a second down, and they're really close to getting a touchdown here. Again, we've been over this before. Carter is not the kind of quarterback you want to be blitzing in this turkey bowl. He's got the speed to get around those blitzers, and it's just not a very effective strategy yeah. to let him go free like that. Yeah, those blitzers are just giving him a chance to run at this point. Just stay back. Yeah. It seems like he's having a hard time finding people open, especially today against this team who has a very stacked defense. The height advantage is very evident. Here's the snap. Open across the middle, and that's a Good touchdown. Good catch by Evan Shy for a convict Beautiful touchdown. Beautiful catch. And they're up. One touchdown to nothing. Definitely large underdogs here. No one expected this kind of outcome. So after a clutch interception by Will Gruka near the convict's goal line, they go ahead and take the ball the other way, all the way for an Evan Scheib touchdown. Yeah, this has been a very exciting tournament here. Rarely you see the sixth seed making a run like this and even having a chance in the finals. Very impressive showing here. Carter Dunlap is going to take a seat on the bench here. Probably needs a break. Brendan Jones and Chris Wooden are going to come into the game for the convicts. Let's see if it hurts them. Looks like a pass. Complete. Got to get. And Chris a makes a nice tackle. Phenomenal there. tackle there. Very easily could have missed that. As you saw with the Twinkies, lost to the young boys. Missed a lot of those tackles. Crucial to get them there. Here's the snap. Pump fake gets him, and he's breaking loose. He's going to make this tackle here, and he does. Chris Wilton again with the tackle. Not before the young boys get a first down, though. Solid yeah. catch and run by Cedric First down, but there. this is also where Convicts got a tu or interception last time. So let's see if the young boys are a little safer with the ball down here. Interception here is definitely going to cost them this game. They do have another one. I believe, according to what Moj said. But we're going to have to find out. Here's the snap. Shorter throw. Looking to break a tackle. And he does. But he's down. And that's a second down. But they're inching closer and closer to that goal. Looks like a touchdown there for the young boys. This is going to be a crucial drive for the convicts, trying to get a touchdown and probably end the game with that. Here's a snap. Second 
down as the pass is incomplete. Carter does not seem to like that. Can Will Gruga make another huge play for the convicts? Yes, we need... Oh, he's open. Doesn't see him downfield, though. But he's breaking away. No, he oh, gets tackled. tackled. Great play there. It's third down. Convicts get a few yards here, but... It's going to be close. Here you go from the convicts. Snap the ball. Great catch. That's a first. Uh, that's probably shorter short. of the first. So this is going to be a fourth down here. They're very close to the first, but can they get another conversion? Maybe even a touchdown, win this first game. It's going to be a close. Time has to be getting close to the end here. And here's the snap. That feels like it's offsides. No call yet. Feels like a premature jump from the sides. Don't know if it's going to be a yardage penalty. Moj wants a redo, but Carter's arguing for an offside penalty. Doesn't get the penalty, but doesn't use a yardage. Here's a snap. Obviously, the blitz is coming. Carter's just going to run it. Very weird decision there if you're the other team. I don't know why you would try to do that. Carter seems Carter very is fuming. clearly infuriated he with is He is fuming, but he is... Got the first down, and this team is knocking on the door of a touchdown. Here, Carter has the ball. He snaps it. Looking for Pump a throw. Fake. Again? No one's open. Will Gruka, corner of the end zone, throws Chris to the open Chris wide open. The Jukes are on point today for Chris Wout. They get a little bit closer. Not second down. And Anthony Powell is now going to check in for Brendan Jones on this convicts offense. We have yet to see an appearance from Nate Bosch all day in this tournament. Nate Bosch is definitely the coach for this team, and he's been coaching them very well. The juice, as they call him. The juice is leading this team to a potential upset victory in the finals here. Carter gets the ball. He snaps it. Possible to Anthony Powell, who's in the end zone, seemingly untouched. Question. Running out of time here to make a decision. Maybe want to throw it away. Maybe wants to throw They're it. blitzing him. He's going to run it. Does he give it? No, he stepped out of bounds. This game is getting extremely heated. So the young boys, again, are trying this blitzing strategy with Carter, and it's just not working out. Carter's getting by way too freely, and it's easy yardage for the convicts. And Anthony they Powell catch. is wide open they again in the, touch, in the end zone for another convicts touchdown. He's definitely been one of the surprise stars of this tournament so far. Elliot, that's your brother. How do you feel? Proud? He's just a beast. He's crazy. This whole convicts team is looking the same. They're definitely putting up a good fight as the sixth seed against the football team. This is just the difference between so, states and playoffs. 
That's true. So I'm hearing that there's one play left in this first game. Now, as we said earlier, the original rules were, since it's a double elimination tournament, the young boys needed to be beat twice by the convicts. But Moj is changing it up with something. I don't know. They might be going for a best of three. Not really sure. Carter goes for the blitz. It doesn't work out. They throw it long. Evan Scheib can't pull up with the stop. And Deshaun Harmon... Well, Gruga got him. That's Logan West. But... Just kidding. Logan West. Let's see what Moj calls. Not sure what the call on the field is. It looks like they might be taking it back. A lot's happening right now. We're trying to figure out the play. Keep holding it up again. So I think, I'm not really sure why, but I think that last play there, the Deshaun Harmon touchdown, does not count. Maybe it does. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. We're talking about the clock right now. We're still trying to figure out what's happening. Will got the ball. <laughs> 